Leon, doctors say that this woman could die while giving birth tomorrow, but the woman says she's still going through with it. She's ready to meet her little girl. LaKendra Nelson stands at just 2 feet 11 inches. She weighs 51 pounds. Doctors told the 22-year-old D.C. woman she wouldn't live past childhood because of her brittle bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI. Now she's pregnant. Um, I'm tired. My breathing is kind of, well, my breathing is very off. I'm on oxygen because the baby's pushing up on my lungs. We talked to Nelson on the phone from her room at Washington Hospital Center, where she's been since Thursday, being monitored for her diabetes, heart murmur, and anemia. I kind of wanted to see what I can do on my own, and I put all my faith in God and just said that I would go with whichever way it happened. Nelson's pregnancy is at 28 weeks. Her baby girl is two pounds, six ounces. This is Nelson's second pregnancy. Her first pregnancy failed due to medical concerns. Doctors warned her she could die, but she tried again. Are you worried that you won't be alive to see your, your girl grow up? A little, um, but like I said, I have a lot of faith in God and I really don't believe that he would give me a gift and then take me away from it. Nelson's mother is staying by her daughter's side. Cause she's been through a lot. Wanda Clegg says her daughter has been through so many broken bones she lost count, and that tomorrow is just another challenge. And I know she's not gonna give her man. She gonna make it. Now doctors say that there is a 50-50 chance that Nelson's baby girl could have this bone disorder, but she's been tested and doctors say she's going to be okay. All set is for a delivery here tomorrow at Washington Hospital Center and Nelson says she already has her baby girl's name picked out. She's going to name her Lakinzy Miracle because she says her baby is her miracle. Live from Northwest DC, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. All right. Gotcha. I'm smiling, Leon Sine, because the mom and the baby are all okay. There were plenty of worries. The baby girl known as Miracle was born this morning at 9.09 a.m. Her mother says she didn't sleep at all last night because there was so much riding on what would happen this morning. We talked to her when she got to her room today. She's teeny, but she fights me. Doctors warned there was a chance this baby girl or her mom wouldn't make it, but they did. This is Lakinzy Miracle. She's awake in this picture, just two pounds, six ounces. How do you feel? You're a mom. <laughs> it feels really good. It's uh, overwhelming feeling. It feels really nice. We talked to her mother over the phone from her room at Washington Hospital Center. 22-year-old LaKendra Nelson has the brittle bone disease known as osteogenesis imperfecta. A gentle touch sometimes breaks her bones. She's only 2 feet 11 inches and weighs 51 pounds. Doctors told her having a baby would risk her life, but she did it anyway. Nelson says she was awake during the C-section. But I definitely had her first cause and um, everything like that. What did you think when you heard her cry? I was relieved. Lakinzie's grandmother says she waited close to four hours this morning while her daughter was in surgery. I start crying. It's a great feeling. She done it. That's the first thing I can say. She done it. Little Miracle, as her family is calling her, doesn't carry the brittle bone gene. Doctors say she is strong and alert. Yes, we're both survivors. We'll keep fighting until the end, and this is definitely not the end for either one of us. Lakinzie Miracle is in the neonatal intensive care unit for now. Her mom says she's just waiting to meet her baby any minute now. Reporting live tonight, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. Uh well, Sine, we've been waiting to bring you this homecoming for about two months now. Doctors told this mother she wouldn't be able to carry a baby, much less give birth. But now she's home from the hospital with her newborn daughter. Doctors told 23-year-old LaKendra Nelson she would most likely die while giving birth to her daughter, LaKenzie. She says she proved them wrong. It's, it's one of those unbelievable, can't explain it, like, wow. Like, a couple days ago, I looked at her and I'm like, Wow, you really came out of me. We followed Nelson through her pregnancy and the birth of her daughter in May. Lakinzy Miracle was born a little more than two pounds. She couldn't breathe on her own at first. Now yeah. she's two months old and five pounds, two ounces. She really is a miracle. Yep, my little miracle.
Doctors screened Lackenzy for her mother's brittle bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI. Touching broke her bones growing up. Nelson is only 2 feet 11 inches tall and weighs just 49 pounds. Lackenzy doesn't carry the brittle bone gene like her grandmother. Kendra obviously can't do this without you. Right. She can do it. She does a lot. But you're really a right-hand woman. Mm -hmm. But I try to let her do as much as she can to take care of her baby. Baby Lackenzie is still being monitored for her breathing with these wires. But that doesn't bother her. She slept through our entire visit. I am kind of happy that she doesn't have it because she'll be normal height and she won't have to go through half of the things I went through. She can have a normal life. LaKendra says, like many people living with brittle bone disease, she wasn't expected to live past her 16th birthday. She's 23 now and already exceeded many expectations. Live from the newsroom, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. Uh well, Julie, many people who are born with this brittle bone disease are not expected to live long, much less have a child of their own. LaKendra Nelson wasn't expected to live past her 16th birthday. Her sister, who was also born with brittle bone, died very young. But at 22 years old, Nelson found out she was pregnant. Making it to seven months in her pregnancy was risky for LaKendra Nelson. She's only two feet, 11 inches tall and under 50 pounds. Her unborn baby was pushing up against her lungs and making it difficult for her to breathe. We introduced you to 23 year old Nelson the day before her scheduled C-section in May. It was time. She just was worn out. For the first time, doctors at Washington Hospital Center are sharing the concerns they had right before the delicate surgery. The pregnancy could be a severe risk to her life. Nelson was born with the brittle bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI. Growing up in southeast D.C., her bones broke often just by touching. Her condition caused severe scoliosis in her spine, so severe there was only one spot and one chance for the anesthesiologist to give her an epidural. She had kind of a double S uh, deformity of her spine. Uh, it was making it, it was made it very, very difficult for epidural to place an epidural in her. Nelson was in the operating room for six long hours. The epidural was a success. I kept asking, is she out yet? Is she out yet? And stuff. So it was really good to hear her first cry. Lackenzie Miracle was born at two pounds, six ounces. Doctors say there was a 50% chance she could have the brittle bone gene, but the Miracle yeah. baby oh. doesn't carry the oh. gene. But you put yourself through such risk. Yeah. Knowing that you could have died yep. and your baby. Yep. How did you deal with that? I prayed every night. Little Miracle spent two months in the neonatal unit at the hospital. She's home now and weighs five pounds, but is still being monitored for her sleeping and breathing. The biggest question Nelson gets now? What's the craziest question you've ever gotten? Um, I guess since Lackenzie's been born, how did you do that? I'm like, the same way you do that. Well, Nelson's next hurdle is her scoliosis. She's hoping to ease the pain in her back by having surgery that straightens her spine. Live from the newsroom, Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News.